Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. We have this function. We have to find its singularities and residue using Lorentz series expansion. Okay, so they have added this condition using Lorentz series expansion. We have to find residue. Let me write the given function first. What we have? f of z. What is my f of z? One upon z minus sine z. See, uh, we have to find singularity. Singularity means a point where function is not analytic. In a simple language, we can say if you get denominator zero for any particular point, that is also singularity. So if I say uh, put z is equal to zero, sine zero, 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 zero minus zero, zero. That means if I put z is equal to zero, denominator will be zero. So z is equal to zero is a singular point. Clearly, z is equal to zero is a singular point. So next task is to find residue, but they have added this condition using Lorentz series expansion. First of all, we have to find its Lorentz series expansion and with the help of it, we have to find residue. That means we have to use definition of residue here to calculate it. Okay. So let us consider the function again. one upon z minus sin z okay so uh, when we want to find Lorentz series expansion we find we try to find is any standard function there yes we have a function sin z which is a standard function and we have its standard series let us use one upon you know sin z series of sin z z minus z cube by 3 factorial z raised to 5 by 5 factorial z raised to 7 by 7 factorial plus and so on right now what will i do i will solve this bracket z minus see outside the bracket we have minus sign when you solve the bracket all sign will get change right so z minus minus plus z cube by 3 factorial minus plus minus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial plus and so on many terms will be there okay these terms are enough for us let us continue can we cancel anything yes definitely z z will get cancelled so we will have z cube by 3 factorial minus z raised to 5 by uh, 3 factorial means what 6 now let me write 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that means 120 plus and so on okay so tell me can i take anything common from denominator z cube we can take z cube common and here we can take six common so we have taken this bracket common so only one will be there z raised to 5 z cube we have taken common so z square will be there six we have taken common 20 will be there plus and so on okay so this is fact we have so 1 upon z cube by 6 what will i do i will write in this way 1 minus z square by 20 and so on getting the point what i have done i have taken minus sign common from all remaining terms that means the entire bracket i have divided in two parts the first part is only one and the second part is all remaining terms getting so minus sign if you take common you will have this kind of bracket there so what is my plan to do my plan is to use this series expansion so we know one upon one minus z the series expansion is uh, uh, what is it one plus z plus z square plus and so on so i can use it this one upon z cube by six okay i'm keeping it outside and i'm using this expansion for this bracket at the place of z, we have this entire bracket, uh, entire bracket. So that means you will have 1 plus z means what? This entire bracket plus z square, this entire bracket square, getting and plus and so on. Okay, this kind of thing we have. Let us remove this part. 
डू यू नो इफ यू हैव सिक्स इज इन डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर इट मीन्स इट विल बी एट न्यूमिनेटर सो वी कैन शिफ्ट इट टू द न्यूमिनेटर सो सिक्स बाय झेड क्यू वन प्लस लेट एस सॉल्व द ब्रैकेट झेड स्क्वेअर बाय ट्वेंटी and many more terms will be there we are not that much worried about it we don't want all these remaining terms we are simply interested in first few terms okay so i am focusing on these two terms only and definitely many terms will be there but i am not considering it there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us multiply now okay multiply solve the bracket 6 upon z cube plus product of these two terms सिक्स झेड स्क्वेर अपॉन ट्वेंटी झेड क्यूब प्लस एंड सो ऑन सो सिक्स अपॉन झेड क्यूब प्लस टू टू कैंसल झेड स्क्वेर झेड स्क्वेर कैंसल टेन झेड एंड सो ऑन ओके सो यू कैन इजीली सी द पावर ऑफ झेड इज रिड्यूसिंग हियर इन डिनोमिनेटर झेड क्यूब झेड एंड हियर वी विल हैव सम झेड विल बी एट न्यूमरेटर राइट झेड विल बी एट न्यूमरेटर सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज principle uh, analyt principal part right since z is in denominator and this is analytic part okay so definitely it's a pole of order 3 getting so uh, at its singularities but they have asked to find residue so let us focus on residue we got the type of singularity it's a pole since only two terms are there of order 3 getting but we have to calculate residue our main target is to calculate residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 so the definition of residue sets it's a b1 b1 means what b1 means coefficient of 1 by z minus z0 z0 is 0 z0 is 0 here so z minus 0 z itself so coefficient of 1 by z what is 1 by z 1 by z is here its coefficient is 3 by 10 so the answer is 3 by 10 so this is required residue okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video